how to get more views on YouTube in two minutes are you looking to get more views on YouTube but you want to work yourself to death I've got a trick for you that you can use that will blow your mind and I'm gonna show it to you in this video and it's only gonna take you two minutes to start getting more views on your videos and we're starting right now hey guys welcome to my channel I'm JR Fisher I appreciate you being here if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe below hit that big subscribe button and next to it notification bell you got to turn on notifications that's how it works if you subscribe and you don't turn on that notification bell they won't notify you when I do new videos you won't be part of the Fisher family you won't be those VIP people and you got to do that right you want to know about this and when I go live they'll also tell you all right let's jump right into this there's so many things you can do to get views on YouTube obviously obviously is having good content obviously is having a good video however had you ever thought about this what if somebody doesn't click on your thumbnail if they don't click on your thumbnail guess what you're not going to get any views now originally when YouTube started nobody really knew much about thumbnails because YouTube would just select one of the screenshots of the video and that would become your thumbnail but as people got wise to this they said well maybe I should put some words on the screen and I'll do that and I'll put some colors and people started to do that and then they said well maybe I ought to put my face on there and a lot of people started doing that and it kind of is a herd mentality where everybody starts following everybody else as far as the types of thumbnails and when that happens all the thumbnails start to look alike again now if your thumbnail looks like everybody else's the odds of you getting clicked on aren't near as good so right now we're in that phase where everybody's figured out to do these bright thumbnails maybe a picture of their face on there and you know they're getting clicks but they're not getting that many clicks because everybody's doing the same thing they all kind of look the same at this point now if you've already built an audience this isn't a big problem for you but for the rest of us that are depending on Google search of which my videos right now 57% of my views come from Google search and if that thumbnail doesn't differentiate me from everybody else I'm not gonna get the clicks so here's what I've discovered you can do less work and you can actually make more money by doing less work all right let me explain to you how what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into YouTube right now and I'm gonna search a subject okay and when I search the subject let's look at those thumbnails and see if we can tell what's gonna work all right let's get going okay I just did a search in YouTube and let's scroll through here and find some of these thumbnails and let's see what would make us click on them more so than others and you're gonna be surprised this is gonna take a lot less work than you think so as I scroll through here I see a whole bunch of thumbnails if you notice it's a lot of people's faces and it's got you know a couple words on there but they all kind of look alike except for this one here this looks a little bit different do this or struggle all right let's scroll through again uh, those all kind of look alike wait a second this one here looks a little bit different right YouTube simplified now look how simple this one is and look how simple this one is okay those tend to pop out more than any other ones here's another one that seems to pop out stop uploading uh, let me scroll through and see what else I see in here um, this is another one that seems to pop out okay it looks different from everybody else's now what what has this person done first off let's see who that person is and it looks like it's Brian G Johnson okay all right let's look at the other one here this tended to stand out that looked really simple stop uploading Brian G Johnson what do you know all right let's scroll through a little bit more here YouTube simplified huh Brian G Johnson I think Brian G Johnson has figured something out here guys I really believe it let me scroll through and see that other one we saw let's see what else we find down here uh, this one really stands out this is by chaos okay but they've done something very similar to what Brian G Johnson's done uh, and as I scroll through here see what else stands out see most of these are a person with some words a person with some words um, that one seems to stand out a little bit better but it's still a person with some words and what I've noticed is a lot of those are Brian G Johnson right okay we've kind of figured that out let's go to Brian G Johnson's channel and let's see if he has changed the way he does things all right so here's Brian G Johnson we're gonna go to his channel real quick huh look at this red with white letters red with white letters red with white letters all right let's go to his videos now 
and look at this here's another one and another one I've no look at this three days he's got 22,000 views three days 22,000 views and all this thumbnail says is a hundred thousand subs equals YouTube secrets okay or maybe it doesn't even say equals it doesn't it was something I had to hover hundred thousand subs YouTube secrets do this or struggle now he did have the picture of him and others it looks like he's doing some testing but look at this two weeks 6,000 views three days 22,000 views I think there's a pattern to this look at this one here 13,000 views 30 days dare you uh, do this I dare you that's all that says let me make this one. channel secrets there's not a lot of work put into this thumbnails guys get subs so I lost subs okay if you look through here he's doing this a lot now he looks like he tried green for a while and green kind of worked, but not as much as the red seemed to work there's another red one right here uh, 10,000 views 16,000 views he's doing this a lot now look at that look at all those red ones so what I'm here to tell you guys is it's not always what you think it is uh, Brian G looks like he's figured something out and I do follow Brian G and I, I look at a lot of his stuff he has some great videos so shout out to Brian G up there but the point is you need to be different okay um, I you know I was talking about this the other day and to be better is hard okay <laughs> to be better than somebody else is really really difficult to be the best is almost impossible okay but everybody can be different and in these thumbnails which is the main metric for getting your videos watched you need to be different now it's hard to stand out when everybody's doing such cool thumbnails like I just showed you I mean some of these thumbnails are amazing they're really really good thumbnails but the thing is they don't stand out because a lot of people are doing amazing thumbnails so how do you outgame somebody who's doing these amazing thumbnails you do one that doesn't look like them you do one that's really simple you, you know you kind of revert back to the the early days when people didn't know how to do thumbnails now I wouldn't ever say to use one of the screenshots don't ever do that don't ever do that um, and, and and like I said in the beginning of this video I mean how long would it take you to do a red screen with two words on it I would say under two minutes you could probably do that and upload that to your videos now here I've got a challenge for you take I don't know five or ten of your videos that you've already done a thumbnail for okay now it's not gonna work as well as an older one but I think you can see a difference and put one of these simple thumbnails on it put one of these with just one color in the background and some letters in the foreground and I think you're gonna see a huge difference you know YouTube is a, a constantly evolving platform and I, I know every time I think I've got it figured out I, I know what to do I know exactly what it needs uh, I'm wrong <laughs> and I'm wrong because there's always something new coming out there's always you know a new feature in here there's always a new way that they're you know doing their algorithms now their algorithms are geared to keep people on the platform and if you have a thumbnail that gets people to click and you start to have more thumbnails like that more people are clicking guess what's going to happen they're going to start showing your thumbnails to people they're going to say well these thumbnails are getting clicked on these fancy schmancy ones aren't so we're going to start showing these ones that are red with white now the one caveat to this is i will tell you is make sure that the words on your thumbnail actually match up to your video don't do clickbait that's the worst thing you can do don't do clickbait because what's going to happen is just the opposite with the algorithm so if you put on there free money and people click on it and it's you going fishing and people see that they're gonna go well i'm gonna click back off again and then youtube's gonna see that when people click on your thumbnails and they go to your video they don't watch so youtube's gonna look at that and go well these are bad thumbnails because even though people are clicking when they do get to that video they don't watch the video and that's not what we want we want people to stay on our platform so you can't just say well i'm gonna i'm gonna go out and i'm gonna do a bunch of really simple uh thumbnails and i'm gonna get a ton of views you won't you'll get a ton of clicks maybe maybe but the point is if you get a ton of clicks and you don't deliver on the goods you're not gonna do well so I have a lot of people say to me well, what's the one thing I need to do to be successful on YouTube and I say there isn't one thing there's a whole bunch of things and in other videos I'll explain that to you but you got to have the right title you got to have the right content you got to deliver it with energy you got to have the right edits in there you got to have a good description in there you got to have the right tags in there it's all these things put together but certainly 
the starting point is a good thumbnail and a good thumbnail is one that is what different not better not the best but different so do your best to be different and you'll get clicks i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget i also have a free course below it's a 97 dollars course all you gotta do is click and learn there's no credit card required if you want to make some money online check out my course down there it's free for a limited time so you gotta grab it now don't forget to do that also if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe and turn on bell bell notifications why you'll be become part of the fisher family the vip group that gets notified every single time i do a video now i want you to comment below what points of this video do you think is helpful to you have you been doing thumbnails what kind of thumbnails have you had luck with if you're having a problem put that question down there too i really appreciate you listening to this video and being here and i will see you in the next one hey thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right here so you can be notified every time i do a new video also click on one of those videos there keep watching on my channel